Welcome to our ProPy 16 lesson. You know, on today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the touch sensor. So what is the touch sensor? The touch sensor, like we discussed before, is like a button or a relay. But instead of pressing it or opening it digitally, we actually press on it with a finger. So, how does it work? We have ground pin, positive pin, and GPIO 11. We set the GPIO into GPIO input, so when we press on it with the finger, we can get any input from the GPIO pin. So, how can we make use of it? Let's go to our Core Pi and take a look. Hi, we're back into our Core Pi. Now we are going to test our touch sensor. Let's take a look where it's located first. The touch sensor is located right here, below the DH11 sensor and next to the relay. Now, the touch sensor is same like a button, but instead of pushing it, we can touch it gently, just like this. Our finger can be detected using the touch sensor, so there is no issue with that. Now, let's go into our CrowPy folder and find a file called touch.py right here. Now, we open it with our Python IDE, and then let's go line by line trying to see and understand how does it work. First, we import the GPIO library, as we already mentioned before and the time library to set the time volume. And then we set the touch pin into pin 11, which is our touch pin. Now we set the mode into GPIO board. As we mentioned, we can use BCM, but for all our examples, we will use board. Now we set the touch pin, which is pin 11, and then GPIO in, because we get input from the touch sensor and we don't send it any data. We set pull up down GPIO PUD up, which is very important because we are going to push it down and then release it. Now we are running a trial loop. Do it forever until keyboard interrupted and then clean up the pins so we can use them later for other purpose. Now, if GPIO, if GPIO input touch pin, which means if touch pin clicked, it will be high. We will print touch detected. Then, no matter how many times we run it, we will sleep for 0.1 seconds to avoid overlap over the function. Now, let's run it and see what happens. First, when we run it, the console will be empty. Seems like nothing happening, but actually our script is running. Now, let's take our finger and touch the touch sensor, just like this. And you will see it will print immediately, touch detected. Let's try again, touch detected and it will keep printing as soon as we touch. We can hold it and it will keep printing touch detected. Now, what can we use it for? For example, you can use button for many stuff. You can click a button and buzz a buzzer, like we learned in one of our lessons. Why won't you do it with a touch sensor? You can do it as well. Try to replace the buzzer with the button script into the touch sensor and see if it works out for you. Thank you for watching our lesson and we're looking forward to see you in our next one.